This is the project we're going to do today. I'm calling this one Frolicking Wolves. And let's begin. Okay, the scene today, I'm going to use some poster board uh, and I'm using the glossy side of the poster board and I'm going to do ink up just this wolf here and I'm going to make sure that the ground underneath it is wiped off and any ink that has uh, gotten onto the other wolf. And then I'm going to stamp it at an angle. Okay, next I'm going to do some reverse or mirror stamping using the same stamp. And this time I'm going to use this little wolf and I'm going to position it so that it looks like the two of them are playing. And so I'll just put it like this. And then I will use one of my mirror stamps. Make sure it is positioned so that it covers the stamp. Make sure my mirror stamp is nice and clean. And then I will just ink up this one this time. And I will make sure that the ground underneath, I'm going to wipe it away. So I'll wipe away any ink that's on the other one. And carefully remove my Misty Creative Corner. Then I will stamp the ink onto my mirror stamp. And I'm going to ink it up again also. And now we'll stamp it onto the page. Okay, now I'm going to use some liquid mask and some stylus tools to apply mask to the two wolves. Okay, I'm going to wait about five minutes for this mask to dry and we'll be back. Okay, it's been five minutes, so now we're going to put the background on, stamp it. Okay, now I'll fill in these edges by stamping in some of these dual trees here. And I'm going to use some Copic alcohol markers to color in the trees. I'm going to use YG61 and YG63. Okay, now I'll take some E37 
for the trunks of the trees. Okay, now for my ink coloring, I'm going to use some Altenew mini cube sets. I'm going to use the Glacier Caves set and I'll use the three lightest colors. And so I will start with Arctic. Now, when I apply the color around the mask, I'll just gently pat because I don't want to wipe the masks off. Okay, next we'll use Caribbean Sky. Okay, now I'll use the Prussian Blue. Okay, for the grassy area, I'm going to use my Altenew Green Valley set. And uh, the colors in this set are Firefly, Grassfield, Shadow Creek, and Mountain Pine. So we will start with the lightest. And once again, around the masks, I'm just going to pat it so that I don't wipe off the mask inadvertently. Now as I fill this in, I'm going to want to keep this area lighter because it's going to correspond with the lighter area in the sky. So as I start adding my darker colors, I want to be careful that I don't color it too dark in this region. So the next we'll do grass field. Okay, next we'll do Shadow Creek, and I'll start using some of my smaller brushes. Okay, for the Mountain Pine, I'm going to use my long, my smallest long skinny brush. Okay, now I want to add some earth tones into it, so I'm going to use the Coffee Break set, and I'll start with Sand Dunes. Okay, and now I'll use some Rocky Shore. Okay, I don't have any Altenew gray color, so I'm going to use my Memento London Fog. And I'll clean off my brush. And I'll add more shadow underneath the wolves. Okay, I'm going to remove the mask now. I'm going to use my glue eraser. Okay, now I'm going to take the brush that still has a little bit of green left on it and just go over this and to just darken those wolves a bit I'm going to go over it with my memento marker okay I want to add some wildflowers so I'm going to use some of the Midnight Violet from the Altenew Shades of Purple set, as well as some vel maybe Crimson or Velvet from the Red Sunset. I haven't decided yet, but we will start with Midnight Violet. And I will use a small flower set from Altenew. Now I'll use some of the velvet. Now to ground those flowers, I'll use the small grass from uh, Art Impressions, 
with the Mountain Pine Altenew color. And so to stamp it, you just kind of walk the stamp along. Yeah, I want to add more London fog underneath the wolves. Okay, now I'm going to use my stamp positioner to add a flock of birds in the sky. Okay, we'll add the smaller flock of birds. Okay, now I'm going to add some white gel pen highlights. Okay, next I'm going to sign and date. Okay, and now I'm going to take it outside and seal it with some Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. And when I'm finished, we'll be back. And here's the final result. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!